Hello YouTube. Today we are going to make some classic burgers on the grill. Um, we're going to do an A1 burger with Munster cheese on pellet grill. So let's go ahead and start with some of the ingredients prep. We're going to do the dry ingredients. So here we go. Alright, we have some staples for this burger here we got some garlic some pink sea salt black pepper celery salt and chili powder so we're going to get some salt in there right, we should be good with that I'm going to get some garlic in there. Just really making a mix. So I'll probably have some left over and you can throw it out when we're done. Alright. And black pepper. Get a little bit of that in there. Um, celery salt. Not too much. Just a little bit. So you already do got a bit of salt in there. And we're going to do some chili powder. There you go. You can get something like this better burger seasoning, but I like to make my own from time to time. Then we're going to just stir this all up. There we go. Alright, so that's what we're going to pinch on our burger so we smash them on the grill. And we're going to go to the grill next. Alright, while the grill is heating up, we're going to do a little bit of prep here. Don't worry, all these surfaces are clean. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to put a little bit of, this is a mix of butter and olive oil. We're going to come and we're going to top off these buns a little bit. Uh, we need to save a little bit of this. Um, I used uh, two tablespoons of butter and about two tablespoons of uh, olive oil. So we're going to put just a little dab of that on there all right so I'm gonna put that off to the side and this is our spice mix we made earlier we're just gonna take a little pinch and we're gonna put just a little pinch of it on the top and bottom parts of the bun um, we are gonna toast these buns in the grill so we'll get them all situated and ready to go all right and then we're gonna do the same thing with the burgers here so we're going to get a little bit of sprinkle on the top of these top two patties here. Alright. And grab these here. And we're just going to put them together. Alright. So we're going to grab a little bit more spice here for these bottom two patties. Just like that and then we're gonna put these two back on top now with the patties seep in some of those spices all right and next step we're gonna be on the grill all right we got our buns up on the top here so they can get a crisp we got the burgers here we're gonna come over and we're gonna get the seasoning again our pre-mixed seasoning that we made earlier get that on there nice there we go all right now we're going to give these a nice home here a little bit closer to the middle some indirect heat some on each side we're going to be checking these buns out we want them just to get brown a little bit crisp on the top, a little bit crisp on the top. All right, now we're just gonna close this up for a little bit and we're gonna let them cook for a minute. All right, so we got some nice crispiness on these buns. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some onions down on them. We're gonna put some cheese on them, then we're gonna flip these burgers over 
and give them a little bit of a butter treatment. All right, so we got our diced onions. We're gonna put those down on these bones. Them set that one on there. So, hear that grill? It's working really hard. So am I. do monster on this on this one some of this seasoning again we're gonna get that on the bun now we're gonna seal it in with that cheese there we go all right so here comes the cheese and we're just looking to melt this cheese and put it back on the place where we're gonna pre prepare these burgers it's a lot of work and a lot of love into just a burger sometimes but you know what if you want to eat good sometimes you got to do that all right so we said we're going to do that. Now we're going to take this butter and oil mix here. And we're just going to go across the top of these burgers a little bit. Get them across the top. Um, these buns have got the cheese melted on them like I said and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some pickles and some A1 sauce on them. Let's see if I can find a place to set this. It's pretty good. There we go. Alright so A1 on the top of the bun. So dab like that. You want to be able to lose a little bit when you put that top bun on. pickle down on these. Oh shit. There we go. Two pickles on each one. Let's go for them. These are some big fucking pickles, guys. There we go. Alright. For good measure, we're gonna get a little bit more of our spices on there, and then we'll head this way. We've got our burgers still cooking, Some juice is coming out of there. We're gonna pull them back a little bit. These guys, we're gonna put one last time. Like that. Alright, and one last dip of seasoning on them.
because it took a little bit longer. And then we'll be on the final step, not adding cheese. That right there is the most beautiful sight in the world. It's a beautiful smell too. All right, let's see what we got going on in here now. I think we're about ready. Tap a little bit. See how squishy they are. Oh yeah, we're ready. We're ready, guys. All right, so final step in Burger Palooza. We gotta melt some cheese on the top of these bad boys. We melted it on that bottom bun, but we need a little bit of love on the top of this burger. Alright, so got our platter of burger readiness here. We're gonna put some cheese on each one of these. You can actually make this with like a pre-mix. Sometimes I mix my own meat, um, put the seasoning deep in the meat. But for this video, we're just gonna go through and we're gonna just use a preform patty. So, it's a Wahlburger patty. Not to drop their name, um, not sponsored by them or anything, but um, that's just what I picked for this this go around. So we're gonna drop that down and we're gonna give that a little bit of time here and we're gonna put these together. Let's move this over here. There we go. All right, here we go. It's the moment of truth. We're gonna shut this grill down. And we're gonna take the first patty here. We're gonna rest it down. We're gonna get the top bun. There we go, got that down. Shit, I got stuff all over my way. All right, here we go. Next burger. Gonna let it rest down. Let's get the bun. There we go. Oh, look at the juice is coming right out of there. That's gonna be a good bite right there. All right, next one. Set them down. Perfect. One more to go. Here we go. Let's get this guy down. Alright, bring him down. Cover him up. So there you have it. Those are A1 burgers done with a preformed patty. Like I said, um, you can make your own mixture of meat. You can use different blends of meat, uh, chuck, brisket, uh, ground sirloin, 80-20, 73, 27, whatever you wanna do. Um, I advise using a leaner meat. Um, if you're gonna mix like a chuck and brisket, it's really good. Uh, you could throw some sirloin on there, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video and uh, try this out and if you like it leave a comment thanks everyone bye